This is Kim with Awen Quilting Machines, and I wanted to show you a couple different uh, custom techniques using my Quilt Gallery or Quilt Butler computerized system. And I'm going to do that by using the table runner pattern that is located under your projects tag. And I click my um, table runner it says test pattern and click OK. And now I'm going to move this in the center. And I center it um, up and down and side to side. And I've previously have already stitched it out. And so for the first technique I want to show you, I want to show you how we're going to create a pattern box for the circle in the center of our table runner. I no longer need my table runner pattern on my screen, so I'm going to um, minus it out. Oops, back, minus it out. And I'm going to go to layout, and I'm going to click on my plus to add a pattern box. I like to start at the center of my circle at, or the center left hand side of my circle or nine o'clock. And once I'm happy to where I position my machine, I'm going to plus. And now I'm gonna move my machine around the circle and I'm going to add a point about every half inch or so. The more points we add, the rounder our pattern box will be. And when I um, do another technique with cropping out my background fill behind my circle, that is when it's really important for my circle to be as round as I can get it. So that's why I'm going about every half inch and adding another point. And I just go plus, plus, move my machine slowly around the circle and add points. It's a little time consuming, but in the end it's worth it. If I wasn't going to be doing a background design behind my circle, I could do fewer points and then my um, pattern box would be more hexagon shaped. And that still works fine for adding a design in the center of the circle. Slowly work my way around. As I'm getting closer to that nine o'clock point, I'm gonna stop about a half inch before I get back to there. And I'm going to click on my check mark. So there's my circle. Now to add a pattern. And I'm going to go, I think, into Arlington, and I'm going to choose um, this feathered wreath with little leaves added into it. And you can see it's bigger than my circle, so I'm going to size it. And I'm going to make sure my lock is on to keep my pattern in proportion. And I'm going to click on my smart scale and it's plopped it down in there. And you can see there's a little bit of variation here and there and that's okay. I'm not gonna um, stress about that too much, 
But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my minus twice. And then I'm going to center my design both up and down and side to side. And that gives me a little bit of breathing room, but I can see this leaf right here is outside of my circle and I don't want that to stitch out. So I'm going to move it over a little bit this way. Um, maybe back and maybe size it one more smaller. I think I'm happy with it there. Um, that gives me a little bit of breathing room all the way around and um, my feathered wreath is now ready to stitch. So I'm going to make sure my needle is on and I'm going to start my machine. So I'm going to let this stitch and when this is done I will come back um, with a new video and show you the next step.